Hi, Trevor here, reflecting on life through music. Thank you for stopping by. Well, come in today. You're very, very welcome. How great to see everybody back or here for the first time even. I hope you enjoyed my last video on Chaka Khan. Through her song, I Feel For You, we talked about feelings and relationships. So I trust you found that one interesting. We're going from a guy to Daniel L. Hartman, born in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania in 1950. This guy was a bit of a child prodigy. He learned piano at a very, very young age and he come on to be came on to become a master songwriter and multi-instrumentalist. The guy we're talking about, Dan Hartman. Um, at the age of 13, uh, he joined the band The Legends, and The Legends actually went for a fair while, actually, um, uh, around 1964, and he it really, truly established the fact that right back, right, even right back then, he was writing songs and singing and doing all the stuff you need to do. And so, you know, that got him his start. 1972, the Edgar Winter Group. Now, um, Edgar Winter was a pr pretty prominent musician, band leader around that time, and so to be asked to play with him was pretty, pretty cool. So Edgar saw something in, in, in Dan Hartman, who we're talking about today, and said, hey, why don't you come and play bass for this? And you might as well sing as well. <laughs> so over the next little while, um, he was with the Edgar Winter group, and we got a live kit globe of Free Ride, and here he is on bass and lead vocals. So pretty, pretty cool to see Dan even back then starting to get a career. 1976, he went solo, and it was only a matter of time before that was going to happen. And out came the album Instant Replay. Now, this huge, this is absolutely massive album, this one. This went to number one on the dance charts, number 29 in the Billboard charts, number 10 in the UK charts. And um, so we've got Instant Replay. Now, this is the official clip, 1970s. Let's just get the context here. <laughs> Let's just get the context here, guys. When you look and think, what on earth's going on here? We've got some very, very, very exciting musicians on stage. Now, Dan Hartman's got this um, incredible ability to just funk and dance it up, and, and uh, this, this song is no exception. I think it became really, really popular for this reason. And so, we've got extremely exuberant and happy people on stage. We've got a countdown at the start and all sorts of things. I think this is Dan signaling to the world, hey, here I am, world, come and dance to my music. And so we've got an official clip of that one below. 1979, out came Relight My Fire. Now, at this point, Dan was getting pretty, pretty big, um, arriving the disco wave by certainly um, band, um, albums such as Saturday Night Fever. He certainly had that same vibe, but he just put his own stamp and sound onto that bit. And of course, when you're writing your own songs, it's pretty amazing. Relight my fire. It's like there was fire there, but it needs to be relit. And so it's a beautiful invitation to someone, hey, um, light me up. <laughs> um, so we've got a studio kind of version of that one. But the song uh, Dan's probably known for is I Can Dream About You. This came off 1984 album of the same name. It's also in the movie Streets of Fire, which is all about a music uh, music. Music guys trying to get off the ground. Now below I've got an official slash livey kind of version of this one. Um, I can dream about it. It's probably where I want to go today. Um, a little while ago I did the song um, All I Have To Do Is Dream by the Everly Brothers. You know, the guys can just like harmonise exceptionally well. And in there I talked about the fact that sometimes dream needs to become reality. So one of the lines in this chorus is I can dream about you if I can't hold you tonight. Um, where do ideas come from? You know, one day, one, when one time we didn't have an idea and now we do, how do we get from one to the other? Well, our minds get a bit of a glimpse, a bit of a picture, a bit of an idea of something, and then, you know, that takes form and that takes, um, that takes, um, yeah, it takes form and it becomes a real thing. I think Steve, Steve Jobs, I've talked about him a little bit now, when he when he um, released the iPhone to the world, and if you haven't seen um, the clip of him doing that, it's pretty amazing. He got excited because he talked about, what about if we get an, an internet browser, email, and music, and phone all on the same device? Hey, but better still, what about if we could actually use our fingers to touch the screen? Now, what about if we move the screen in the opposite direction and it just rotates around? That's what the iPhone did. 
and it changed the world, absolutely. Um, so, but you know, it started, that starts with an image, well, I wonder whether I could actually put all these devices together. And sure enough, with a bit of hard work, a bit of technology, and I'm sure to strike, quote Steve Jobs, life is about the journey. The journey of releasing the iPhone was probably more exciting than the iPhone itself. Um, but this is what we're talking about here. But in the, in the terms, I suppose, of relationships, I want to hold you, to, if I can't hold you tonight, we're talking about, hey, can I really imagine this person in my life? And if that grows and becomes, you know, a bit more compelling, well, the dream has to become a reality. There's so many sad stories. Um, I remember the, the musical Les Miserables. Now I can't remember the actual characters' names here, but one of the main guys who was, who was part of the barricades, there was a girl that liked him, but she couldn't say anything. I think, um, and then she sings the song about it as you do in musicals. So you really, really feel for her in that moment. The unrequited love thing can be quite challenging because you can't move on to someone else because you love this other person. Um, I think uh, the challenge of the video today is to talk about getting our dreams into reality. Um, this is what we need to be able to do. Um, if you're a little bit timid when it comes to talking to guys or talking with girls, I'm with you on that one. It's not easy because uh, particularly when you get to my age and life's had a bit of a bit of a go as well and you know everyone's been feeling, feeling a little bit battered and bruised but love doesn't in fact um, I, I finished a song last week um, uh, one first time for a while and one of the lines love goes where it wants love goes where it needs I looked at those lyrics and thought well wow, they're pretty pretty cool Ah, uh, I got a bit cheery when I, but I'm thinking love, love goes where it wants, love goes where it needs. And I think um, when, when love does that, um, it, um, it takes you over and you want more of it. So if someone has revealed your heart, their heart to you, like really revealed it, well, you'd want to, you'd want to sort of try and have more of that, wouldn't you? Because once a heart's revealed, it's very hard to unsee it. And so to be able to, I suppose, go from dream to reality is, is, is something that we need to be brave enough to be able to do. So may I can dream about you, be I can be with you instead. So we've got official slash live slash TV version of that one. Another one of his great songs, We Are The Young. This is the official clip on this one. But here you can see a little bit of what Dan's like on stage. Couldn't really find a... Uh, I couldn't find a good live clip of him really, but this is a bit of what he would be like on stage. A lot of musicians with him. He's got a pretty big sound. The musicians have to be pretty good, and it enables um, it enables um, you know you to see and get a, bit of a feel of what he's like on stage. Bit of a good looking bloke, particularly with I can dream about. You've got the sunglasses going on the whole thing, and he's got a pretty pretty good voice. This guy and enables um, audiences to get carried along with him for the ride. Absolutely. So we've got an official clip of We Are The Young, all about living life to the full. Now, Dan, unfortunately, I didn't realise this, died in 1994. He was 43 years old. Rest in peace, Dan. Oh, my goodness. There was medical complications, apparently, and um, he was a bit of a private man, and... Um, didn't always let the world know what was going on, but yeah, he did leave us in 1994. For any of the Hartman family are watching, um, I don't need to tell you how amazing this guy was. Um, it's sad that he's left this world. At the age of 43, so much life yet to go. But I served certainly since 1976, so he had nearly a 30 year, um, well actually, between 76 and 89, six studio albums and 22 singles. So he had a, you know, 20 odd, 25 year career in the music business. This is pretty, pretty good. Um, estimated to have sold around 50 million albums. Uh, Dan uh, Dan is a bit of a collaborator, collaborator. So that's kind of all the stuff he's been, been, been involved in. But in the scheme of things, pretty, pretty successful actually. And I think this guy's a bit of a loss when he, when he left us in 1994. So he, he, he encouraged us to, to turn dreams 
into reality. One of the things that Dan was famous for was his musical versatility. He had the ability to go into many, many places and do many, many things. And because of that, that he got a lot of respect in the music industry. And, you know, the world is better off for people like this guy who just brought himself to the world. So it's nice to be able to give him a bit of a, a, bit of a go today and a bit of a tribute as we looked at his iconic song, I Can Dream About You. So I trust it's been encouraging to you as always. This is what this channel is all about, being an encouragement. Each of you are individual and unique and significant to me in this channel. So it's great that you guys have come back. So the links to those, so where we got one, two, three, four, five clips are in the description below. And I've also included my last video from Chaka Khan, who's kind of in a similar vein of, of funk and disco. Uh, if you want to recap on her, feel free. Well, if you've come back for another one, um, and you know, I didn't realize when I did um, Carol Bay SA a little while ago that that was video 450. So we're, we're we're getting up, getting up there a little bit in, in videos at the moment too. So this is, we're in the 450s now. So um, that's it. For, great to see you all here. Next time we're going to go on to a screen music legend, Danny Kaye. Now when I think of Danny Kaye, I think of the movie Hans Christian Andersen. I'm sure there'll be some clips from there. I haven't looked at clips yet. I haven't looked at his story yet. This is what's really, really exciting about this channel. We do it as we go along. So until next time when we get on to him, I'll catch you around. Bye for now.